everyone, so this is my July favourites. Now again, this month I have used quite a lot of the same things again, but some of them I've sort of rediscovered and one of them I have a different use for, so I just thought I'd show you them anyway. So the first one is the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder. It's just a powder that you use to set your foundation, your makeup with, and it obviously, like I said, it's translucent, so it doesn't leave any colour on your face. But for me, I find that it works a lot better for the lines that go down my face there, like the tired lines. If I apply a little bit of it with a, a fluffy blending brush, it literally, the line disappears. Um, you can probably see it now, but I have applied it before. But I'm just going to do it again, just to sort of show you. You only need a little bit. Just take a little bit, tap off the excess, looks like that. I'm just going to apply it to the lines that you see running down my eye like that. It should basically, I do more of a tapping motion than a sweeping motion. It basically just sort of sets it and, you know, makes it disappear more or less. Like, roll, even more or less, it reduces the line. So, yeah, that is what it does. Probably can't see it very well, but, um... Trust me, it does make a big difference to my to my makeup, to my face, especially if I'm looking really tired in the morning. And I just put that on, and it just works wonders. So if you don't have that, or if you do have it, try it and see how it works for you. The next item is this sleek palette. This is the Oh So Special palette. I've literally been using this every day this month. Um, I've done a tutorial um, with this palette before. It's just, as you can see, it has the dark colours there, and then like more of a more of this. Um, soft sort of girly colours. I've actually got that on um, my eyes today. I've got three colours from the palette. I've got the pink one, which is a matte colour. This um, plummy, sort of satiny um, finish type colour and a pink shimmery one. So this is the pink. Okay, you can't see that. <laughs> That's the pink. That is the plummy colour and then for the pink um, shimmery colour the bottom is quite shimmery it's got a bit of a gold reflex to it as well so that's what I have on my face today um, like I said I've been using this palette really well I really like this palette I love sleek palettes if you don't already know I love how it's so pigmented and you know so affordable as well and you obviously get 12 shadows in one palette it's such a good um, good bargain so the next items are my La Femme blushes. I still haven't filled them up yet, but I will do soon. I've been using this one, which is Bordeaux, and that one, which is Magenta. I do have that on today as well. Well, both of them. Um, if you can, probably can't see. Um, yeah, these blushes again are so affordable. I think they're like two ninety nine or two something. No more than three pounds. Um, I think um, you, can, you can get them from the UK as well, but they are from the US. Um, I will put a, a link to where I get this from and the palette. So, so affordable, so worth the price, so pigmented. Even with one swipe, you get quite a lot on your, um, on your finger. And it's just, it's such a good blush. That's the one that's Bordeaux I've swiped the top. Such a nice blush, um, well, nice set of blushes. And like I said, yeah, they do last very long and they're very pigmented, so I would definitely definitely recommend that you get them if you don't already have them. Next item is this e.l.f. blush, which is called Got To Glow. This is supposed to be a dupe to the NARS Albatross. I've, I've read and watched in some videos. Um, I don't have the NARS Albatross one, so I can't, like, compare. But um, if you don't, if you want something that's quite close to the Albatross one, I've seen quite a few pictures of, like, swatches, and it's quite close. I have read a few, um, that's it right there, it looks white, but it gives like a nice, you know, gold type, um, shimmery type effect to it. I mean, some people say it can be quite chalky, but, um, it depends on how you apply it. If you apply too much, then you might get too much on, and it, it has got quite a lot of, like, shimmer to it, so a little goes a long way. I've been using that to apply to... My cheeks, I haven't got it on today. 
um, sometimes my nose as well and I like it I mean for the for an elf price compared to NARS I think it's so much more worth it so the next thing I actually bought like last week but I thought I'd put it in anyway this is Max Ruby Woo lipstick you have to get this lipstick if you don't already have this if you're a Mac Mac lover or just like lipsticks red lipsticks you have to get this this works for people of darker skin tones or anyone to be honest but this is such a staple lipstick from MAC you should have. I absolutely love it. I did a back to MAC so I got a chance to pick this up and I had it on my last video. It's so nice. It's a MAC colour. It's just so so gorgeous so you definitely should pick this up if you don't already have it. And for a lip pencil I use the Maybelline Moisture Extreme Lip Pencil in Red Glamour and that's just to line, well, fill in my lips first and then apply it. The next thing is a lipstick I've probably mentioned before in another one of my favourites video. This is Rimmel's Airy Fairy, which looks like that. It's a nice pink with um, gold reflexes to it. Probably can't see it, but um, that's the swatch of the, um, the lipstick. And it's meant to have some gold reflexes to it, but you probably can't see it. But yes, yeah, I've rediscovered it again. I've been using it a lot. I've got it on today. Um, it's such a cute colour. Um, the reason why I stopped using it for a while because I felt that it just wasn't applying smoothly to my lips and I think it's because I was applying my lip primer a bit too late. Normally I use my uh, MAC Prep and Prime Lip and I apply just before I start putting my makeup on and let this let it you know sit in and then I apply my lipstick at the end and it glides on smoothly. There's no like creases or like crummy looking bits on my lips. So so nice. Um, so yeah and I would use the NYX's Nude Pink Lip Pencil with it and NYX's Beige Mega Shine Lip Gloss with it as well. Um, I think the last one is this Nail Polish Nail Paint by Barry M. This is called Raspberry. I have that on right now. I've been wearing this quite a lot this month as well. It's like a mix, just a, a mix between a red and like a dark fuchsia pink. It's so, so nice. I'm not one to wear a lot of nail polishes, but I just thought since I haven't got my nails done, I might as well do something and because you know, I don't really have nice nails and because I bite them a lot so I thought I'd just cover them up and this is such a nice colour it just seems to really suit me really well it's not a red it's not pink it's just in between it's so so nice so they were doing a two for five pound offer a while ago so I picked this up with something else as well coral I think so if you don't have it please go get it it's such a nice colour to have so um yeah that was all my July favourites <laughs> I didn't have that many again this month um same 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 Keep repeating because I, I yeah I don't see why I can't repeat things I like from the previous months so um I thought I'll show you those ones anyway um my hair if you're wondering this is the virgin hair fantasy Brazilian um, body wave if you haven't seen my previous video so review just my initial review on it please watch it it's such I'm loving this hair it feels so natural it looks so natural on me I, um, I was up at like 5 a.m. this morning trying to like add some more tracks. So I, tell, I did tell you that it looked really flat here, but managed to add some more tracks there and a bit more at the bottom. So I feel so much better now because I was I just wasn't liking it. I'm in, I'm in my boyfriend's house right now, and uh, I just like kept complaining how it's just so flat. And you guys don't understand. I love my hair big. You should know this for a fact. So I was up at five. I went to bed at one o'clock. I was up at five, sewing in my hair, like adding some more tracks, and I was done. And I just absolutely love it. So I will, I'm not sure, I don't think I'm, I'm going to straighten this hair, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it like this. I love the way it looks, the sort of ways it gives. Um, so yeah, that's it really. If you don't already know about them, go check them out, go get you some Brazilian hair. But anyway, that's all I've got for this video, so thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye guys!